Hello and welcome to PodCoder. In the previous video, we have successfully seeded some test data into our database. And in this video, we are going to authenticate our APIs. So APIs typically uses tokens to authenticate users and do not maintain a session state between the requests. So how we can do that? Hopefully Laravel provides an official package called Laravel Passport. And if you go to the laravel.com, here inside the official packages, you can see we have the passport. And it clearly says that it provides a full OAuth 2 server implementation. So how we can install it? Just follow this instruction. First of all, you need to just copy this line and come here, paste it inside your terminal. It will take a little bit time. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so after successful installation of Laravel Passport, we can follow the steps. We have here PHP Artisan Migrate to migrate the passport related tables into our database. So we can see we have all these tables related to auth. And let me go to the database, refresh it. You can see everything is added here. Okay. One thing else that we need is to just run this comment, php artisan passport install. And this comment will create the encryption key needed to generate secure access tokens. So just paste it here, run it. And you can see that these two secret keys are added here. And if I just select from the OAuth clients, you can see here we have two records. Okay. So after that, what we need is to just go to inside our uh, user model and add these has APIs token. So let me close this one inside our app user. Here we can add this has API tokens. And also we need to bring or import the class. So the class is Laravel Passport has API tokens. Let me close this one. After that, what we need is inside our auth service provider, we need to add passport routes. So basically here we can copy it. And inside our app providers, here we have the auth service provider. And at the end, at the boot function, inside the boot function, we can add the passport routes and also need to bring the passport class as well. So Laravel passport and passport. So this will add all the passport related routes. And the last one is to go to inside the config auth.php and change this API driver to passport. Okay, inside the config auth.php, I need to just replace this API with the copied one. So we are done with the installation steps. These are mostly about the usage and customization. So how we can test that our passport package is successfully installed. I'm going to open the terminal. And here, first of all, I'm going to clear the terminal. And we can write php artisan route colon list. And this will provide all the routes that we currently have. It is not looking good. Let me open the terminal and I'm going to sit to desktop and first set. And here I'm going to clear it first and we can write the same thing. PHP artisan route colon list. And I'm going to maximize it a little bit. You can see here we have all these routes and with the specific methods. And most of these routes are from the passport package. So all, you can see all these routes are added by the passport package. And here we have a lot of these routes, but currently we can use this one, OAuth token, to get the token or the user token. And it is clear, clearly written in the uh, documentation as well. If you want to get the token, you can follow these steps. So let me find the refreshing tokens. No, I'm just going for the requesting tokens. And uh, for the requesting tokens, it's here. 
and it says that we need to add this thing so I'm going to copy it and we have a software for testing the routes and it's called postman it is basically a very easy uh, software to use and also it has a really easy interface so we will be using this software a lot and you can get to know it so basically it, uh, you can create a new uh, request collection or environment that we will use it later and here you just you can click on this plus button you first of all you have your all methods that you want like get post put for the rest apis and also here you have you can paste your url and you can send the method but before that you if you want to add some parameters to your request or authorization headers body and you can add all these parameters here so our method is post and also our url is this one so what i'm going to do is choose the post method from here and also we have the localhost 8000 so i'm going to delete this part and it is sorry not this one so basically it is oauth and slash token oauth slash token and after that what we need is to just this uh, to send this uh, what we can say these parameters or this to post this data so for that we need to go to the raw and here we need to paste it so but before that what I'm going to do inside the authorization inside the headers you can put the content type as application JSON and right now it will format it a little bit but it's not okay you can see we have an error so let me come here inside the api.php I'm going to paste that copied code and what I'm going to do is by pressing ctrl G sorry by pressing ctrl G I'm going to select all this single quotes because JSON needs double quotes and also we don't need this arrow because this is related to PHP but JavaScript objects we have the colon and that's it I think I'm going to copy this part and I'm back to the postman and inside the body after selecting the raw here we have an a JSON object because our content type is application JSON and also we have this data so for the grant type I am going to use the passport and also for the client ID if you go to the database and we saw that we have some odd clients we can see we have two clients here I'm to going with the second one so the ID is 2 and we have secret here let me copy this secret and also paste it here and also we have the username and password because we seeded the data into our database let me select from the users here you can see we have a list of user and I'm going to select the first one paste it here and the password is password if you remember from the previous video when we seeded the data into our database let me show it to you here inside the database inside the factories user factory we can see that here for the password we have this code which is equal to the passport not passport password sorry and for the scope we have a star we want to access to everything and after that oh our server is not running let me clear this one php artisan serve to run our server and currently our server is running and if i send this code you can see that we, we got the token and right now we can use this token to authenticate our APIs so how we can do that so here inside the uh, api.php by default we have this route and this route uses this middleware auth API so this needs this route needs authentication and without authentication we cannot have access to it so how we can do so and right now if I go to the postman and write uh, localhost and that is 8000 API slash user 
because uh, it's inside our API. So Laravel by default adds APIs to it and then we have the user. So API user and if I, it's a get request, I believe. Yes, it is a get request and the method is get. And if I send right now, you can see we have this error because it is redirecting it to the login page and login page is not defined and why it is redirecting because we need it needs authorization so authorization the content type is beaver and we have the token that we copied from here okay so right now if I send the request you can see that we got the user related to this route and it's just returning the user or the authenticated user so our user is this one. Okay, so we successfully installed and tested our passport Laurel package. And right now we are able to authenticate our routes.